so I'm going to adjust the height accordingly. See, I get those ball and socket joints lined up. Okay, good. And now since I'm in figure mode, I can work with this nightmare. selected of course so very weird Maybe that's it. Huh. Well, whatever. So, okay. So that's my problem. I'm just a retard. So we have that lined up. Uh... Remember, checking all the viewports now. You want to make sure this is right. Make sure the knees are lined up properly. And what I like to do is, um, I want to make sure that you won't be able to see these skeleton parts, because normally, like, you can turn off the rendering for them, but once you turn it into a particle, all that goes out of the door. It takes all of the geometry. So, the legs we could slim up a bit. Not that way. Go like that. So the knees match up. Now we're going to need... That's the pivot point here at the top of the foot. Make sure these meet the ground plane. Uh, I'm just going to pivot those in a position. Didn't check in all the viewports. Look at that. I didn't check the viewports, and so now we're paying the price. Okay, the feet, again, I'll rotate them in position. I 
Also, you can click on these and hit a Alt X. That makes them see through. Alt X again just turns that off. So this is not a perfect thing, but um, we're not going for perfection. We're going for learning. I'll hide behind that uh, the whole tutorial. So don't mind me when it comes to that. This is lined up fairly well. The neck. We like the pivot about there. so that's basically the skeleton um, we can look at this again in our layers we can turn off the basic geometry and I'm not going to be doing any uh, I'm not going to be doing any intricate skinning there's a skin modifier where you can work with envelopes and this and that I'm not going to do any of that for this tutorial um, just to keep it brief, I'm just going to basically connect things to the bones, and that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to turn the kiwi skin back on. I'm just going to call this kiwi skin now. Kiwi skin. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. I to turn it on. I'm going to connect, what, what is this, is this a poly yet, no, okay, so I'll make the head an editable poly, and I'm going to attach the mohawk and the nose, so that's all one unit now, uh, I'm also going to convert both of these to editable polys and I'm going to attach the thigh attach the other thigh um, these should all be one piece that's fine uh, 